Hi, I'm Travis and I'm an Applications Engineer at Maxman Integrated. When using a mobile device, there are a few things more frustrating than the battery indicator dropping from 20% to empty without warning. That's why it's important to have an accurate battery fuel gauge IC to keep track of your battery state of charge. Maxim's model gauge M5 algorithm combines the short-term accuracy of coulomb counting with the long-term stability of voltage-based fuel gauging to provide the highest accuracy across all operating conditions. In the next few minutes, I'll show you how to select the best fuel gauge IC for your project and show you how to get it up and running with the evaluation kit. There are a few things to consider when selecting a battery fuel gauge, so I'll walk you through the choices. The first consideration is whether or not you want a standalone battery fuel gauge. These include non-volatile memory, so you only have to program them once at the factory. They also have built-in authentication, so you can prevent battery pack cloning. These are particularly useful when you have swappable battery packs so you can track the battery performance as it ages. In this category, there are four main options that include single cell and multi-cell battery packs with one wire or I2C communication. They are the MAX 17201, 205, 211, and 215. If you don't need these standalone features, the MAX 17260 family offers even lower current consumption with some other unique features. The MAX 17260 is a single cell fuel gauge that only draws 5.1 microamps in hibernate mode. The 261 is for multi-cell packs, the 262 has an internal sense resistor, and the 263 has an integrated status LED driver. Now that we have a good idea of which part to use, we need to decide what battery model to use. For most applications that use common lithium chemistries like lithium cobalt, NCA or NCR, and lithium iron phosphate, the easy configuration is the suggested option since it gives you the highest accuracy without the need for lengthy characterization procedures. I'll show you how to get this set up later in the video. For chemistries with uncommon discharge curves, we can perform a custom characterization for projects with at least 10,000 annual volume. This process involves running the batteries through a series of charge and discharge cycles to extract a battery model from the cells. Because this requires precise knowledge of the system load profile, or current consumption versus time, this should be done towards the end of the design cycle when these details are known. To get this process started, contact your FAE, distributor, or Maxim tech support. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to get started with the easy configuration using the Max17263 EV kit. I have my lithium battery connected to the PAC plus and PAC minus terminals and the RJ11 cable connected to my PC through the USB adapter. Now let's open up the software and configure the battery. In the battery selector page, we have the option to use a custom model from an INI file, which we would use for uncommon battery chemistries. I have a 500 milliamp lithium cobalt oxide battery that I'll use with the easy configuration. The cell size is just the nominal capacity, so I'll enter 500 milliamp hours and the model ID is lithium cobalt oxide. The empty voltage sets where the empty point is and should be set to the minimum operating voltage of your system. This selector gives the range of 3 volts to 3.4 volts and I'm going to use 3.3 which is the most common. If you need to go lower than 3 volts, I'll show you how in just a minute. The charge termination current depends on your charger and is the point during constant voltage charging when the charger turns off. The charger I use has a 50 milliamp termination current, so I'll enter that here. Lastly, my charge voltage is 4.20 volts, so I'll leave this box unchecked. When I click Save Profile and Update IC, it loads the model and starts gauging the battery. The Model Gauge M5 tab shows you the most important battery measurements in real time, as well as some algorithm outputs, for example, voltage, current, and state of charge. The graphs page lets you view the history of these measurements over time. The configured tab lets you change the battery model and control the log file. And the information tab lets you export the configuration to an INI file if you need to. If you need to set V empty to less than 3 volts, go to the registers tab and open the percentage and models page. Click the V empty register and type in your value here. You'll see the hex value change, which confirms the update took place, even if the voltage value doesn't change. And that's all you need to get started with accurate fuel gauging using Maxim's M5 algorithm. 
So order your EV kit today and get fuel gauging. Be sure to check out the datasheet, EV kit datasheet, and user guide for all of the product details. That's all for now. I'll see you next time.